What is up guys, back again with another video, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about the best rooted app that I like to use. So without further ado, let's hop right into this. The first thing I do as soon as I am rooted, I go ahead and download Titanium Backup. I do really like this application, it does help me a lot. After you have given uh, Titanium Backup root permissions, you'll be greeted with this screen right here. It just gives you a little bit more information about your settings, and actually the root access you were able to grant it. Now if you head over to the next tab, you can see these are where all your applications are actually stored. Now you have different uh, color text, the first one being green, the second one being red, and the last one being white. What's in red were actual applications that were already pre-installed on your device, and what's in white are applications that you installed on it. This is why people like downloading this application, because it does help them remove uh, certain applications that were already pre-installed on the device. Again, those applications would be in red. Now, you do need to just be careful when you are uninstalling certain applications in red because some of them are actually important and if you un end up uninstalling them, there's no way for you to reinstall it and you would just have to uh, pretty much uh, do a factory reset or just uh, completely wipe your device clean. But um, in my case here, you can see I do have uh, an application in red that is also kind of blued out. Um, what that means is I just froze that application. Um, when you freeze an application, it doesn't run in the background. It's basically like if you deleted it, but with it still being in uh, your actual phone storage. So if I ever needed that application for whatever reason, I could just unfreeze it and bam, it's there and it's ready to go. Now when you do click on an application, you'll be greeted with this uh, menu here. You have the option to either back up, defrost, or uninstall. Now keep in mind, if you do have the free, um, the free version of Titanium Backup, you will be, you will not be able to freeze applications. Just keep in mind. So there you guys have it. This was a little overview of Titanium Backup and what it basically does. I do enjoy using this application, and this was Titanium Backup. Now the next application on the list is called Emoji Switcher, and it basically does what it says. It switches out your emojis fairly easy. So when you first launch the app, you'll have to grant it super user permissions, obviously. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with this screen right here. Now, I am running the iOS 9 emojis just because I do like them better um, over Android. So when you do click this little arrow, you'll be, uh, you're will be you able to see the list that it does support. And it does have quite a few. So after you uh, pick one that you like, you can go ahead and just select it. It will tell you to reboot. And after that, you're good to go. Like I said, after you have rebooted, uh, the emoji should be working fine, so let's go ahead and test it out. We'll head back to the home screen, and let's go ahead and open up the Play Store. As you guys can see, the Play Store just opened up. Let's go ahead and type something out, and there you guys go. You can see I have the uh, iOS 9 emojis, and it's that simple. You just simply install it, reboot, and it's ready to go. This was the emoji switcher. Now the next application on the list is called Better Battery Stats and it basically gives you more stats on your battery and what exactly is draining as far as your CPU usage and your Wi-Fi usage and your data usage which I do like and it gives you exactly how much battery you're using per hour so you can see there I am using 2.1% uh, per hour which is pretty cool and it gives you a lot more information on your deep sleep, awake time, phone on, and all that good stuff. So if you do want to check it out, this was a better battery stats. Go ahead and check it out. Now, if you guys aren't into installing custom ROMs or anything like that, then Expose Installer would be just for you. Now, what it basically does is it likes to modify your stock ROM to a certain extent or even customize your stock ROM to a certain extent. You're able to change things like if you don't like... Um, you know the status bar icons exactly what order they're in you can go ahead and change them out and uh, change the different order and stuff like that that's basically an example of what expose allows you to do you would just download the specific module for that and you're able to uh, you know you're able to modify things to a certain extent and that's pretty much what expose allows you to do it allows you to install modules to help you customize your device just somewhat more to your liking if you guys do want to check it out, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below in the description so you guys can download it there. This was Exposed. And there you guys have it. These are the best rooted apps that I like to use on a daily basis. So if you did like the video, go ahead and leave a like and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.